No, not my couch. Not my couch. Show that you're a good dog. Not my couch, pushy. Go to the room. Go to the room. Go to the room. Hey guys, so welcome to Casa Sauce Balls and I'm here with my animals. My turtles are upstairs chilling. Uh, you guys have been requesting for an animal care vlog, vlog kind of thing. I'm not sure what to do, but I hope you guys will enjoy this and learn a little bit from our little furry routine here at home. What? Let me stop being so maldita. Why are you so maldita? Okay, bye. Bye. Start with you, Pochi. It's my baby. I mix her food because she's very picky. Uh, so this is just plain chicken and then I'm gonna cut it into pieces and put some water so it becomes moist. I've been feeding my animals Royal Cannon because that's what they prefer and also because um, Royal Cannon has big animal, big animal food which is this. So this is called a kibble depending on the size of the dog the size of the kibble also should matter so that they get to chew it instead of swallowing it. So now, I put it back in here. Pour a little bit of water to get all the, the brownings there. And so the chicken gets juicier. Mmm, pochola! Mmm! She's on the hunger strike. Gourmet cooking. Ready to eat? It'll be a bit hot, but she's gonna swallow that. She's gonna be so fast. So while she's eating, I'll just show you how I store the, the dry food. It's basically here so it doesn't get uh, soggy. And I get big packs because she eats so much. And then I feed her cups. So I usually feed her two and a half cups in the morning, three cups at night or vice versa with uh, one chicken breast in the morning and one chicken breast at night. But that's because she's a big dog. So this is basically it. For my cat food, man, same thing. Um, so this is for my cat. Cat food, usually you have to have dry food and wet food all the time. So the dry food is available all day. And the wet food, I serve half a pack. So basically half in the morning and then half at night. That's all they eat. Let's see how Pachala is and then we can let her walk. Vamo! Vamo la vuelta! Vamo la vuelta, let's go walk. Oh, wait, before you walk, we have to pick up after her poo. Sometimes hers is, is bigger than the humans, so it's really hard to get with a banana leaf. But yeah, so these are eco friendly, eco friendly bags. Let's go walk. Let's go walk. Ready? Boom. So I usually sprint with her, but obviously I can't run at the moment. <laughs> so we do 1.5 kilometers every time we walk. Mama! Mama! Since she's a house dog, I don't like her paws to be dirty. So before we enter the house, I clean her paw just with water. So I wet this and then dry her with this. So I make sure to clean all the dirt. You like that, madame? Dry it with this, just to make sure that her feet are nice and clean. And I think they like it because when they walk on the cement, it gets really warm for them. She like that. So basically, after cleaning her feet, this is the next stop where she cools down in the aircon for a bit. And then uh, I use this, so this it removes excess hair. So she's combed, she loves it. And then I have a, a thick finder, so I comb her with this to make sure she has no ticks. It would beep. It will beep if there's a tick. I give her a Dio spray. So she smells good. And then I make sure to comb her. I go against the, the grain so it really goes into the skin and the hair. We're ready to go up. So while she rests, 
Let's go and visit the, our little friends, Pechuga and Potato. Massage. Well. So we are in the sanctuary of turtles. This is Potato. He has grown since our house tour. The bigger space they're in, the faster they grow. Pechuga is a little more feisty. Okay, so we're gonna shower them first. Wait, let me just with them. We bathe them like this, because that's where they drink the water. Very healthy diet. So basically it's very simple to have turtles. I mean they're not much of a a hassle to have at home, just leave the food for them all day and that's it. They don't like to be pet or anything. Although, Patato likes to be caressed under the neck. <laughs> I know it's weird, but he really likes it. Just leave him here all, leave them here all day and that's it. Make sure they have water and food and you're done. And they look pretty. So now, we're gonna take care of El Gato, which is, whew, he's a little more of a hassle, but I love him. So cats are a little bit more tricky because they, well, especially my type of cat because it has, they don't blink, basically. So they always tear and then that gives them allergies next to the eyes or irritates them. So I don't do this every day because it, it can't be good for a cat as well. Like, like when us, when we put eye mows, eye mows, when we put eye drops, it's also not good to do it daily. So same thing with the animals. So on a regular day basis, you just clean your, your cat's eye with, um, warm water and then like a wet cotton and then just kind of clean it out on the sides. But once a week, have the entire cleaning. So I have my set here. So I'm sure you know that when they say you want kids, then have a pet first. Um, of course, pets are very much like animals, especially if you're hands-on. Like me and Nico, we're very hands-on. We do everything for our pets. So one time I was left alone for two weeks with no helper at home and no Nico. And I had my dog to feed twice a day, walk four times a day, and my cat to groom, my turtles to feed, to go to the grocery and buy them stuff. And it was really a nightmare and tiring. But it's good training to have a kid. Although when you have a kid, obviously it's harder because you can't just leave the kid at home alone. Whereas my cat and my dog, I can. So he hates this, so you might have to come on this side to see it. There. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna clean the muta. I have a this eye, eye envy teardrop, <laughs> Negroni. But you can use warm water. So we just clean the eyes. You have to be very gentle because the, the eyes are super sensitive in a cat, especially these flat face cats. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then I put powder. So it's also a special from the brand I, I Envy as well. It's tear stain remover powder. So you usually put this where they tear. Make sure not to put it inside the eye. We are done. I groom him once a month with a, a groomer so that he doesn't smell. But usually cats, they clean themselves so they, it's not needed. And then I comb him every day because cats shed a lot. You're gonna see this brush. He pretends not to like the combing, but he actually likes it. So I have a nail clipper. So basically to cut the cats, so you'll have a hard time looking for them like this because they're inside, but once you press them in the center, it comes out, see? And then when you see it, you just cut a little. Now, for hair cutting, I like to cut the tips here because I find it stung it. And then I make sure to make his head more round. I like to cut in between the ear and here, just to make it, to shape it, so. It's a rounder shape on the top, and then you can just clean all the, the small hairs. Can you see your haircut? That's good, look, you're so cute now. Okay, he's done, and then usually I give him a treat, but my treats are downstairs. So now you can go, look at all the hair. Oh my gosh. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, you guys have been asking for videos of Pochola, Patato, Pechuga, and Negroni for a while. Although I wasn't sure what to do. I hope this gave you a little insight on our pet life at home as pet parents. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of work and having a, 
An animal is not a joke. So if you're gonna buy an animal just to leave the dog in your garage, then don't buy an animal because it's just cruel. So make sure you treat your animals like their family members as well. And also, of course, make sure to bring your pets to the vet. Even if they look fine, even if you don't hear them complaining about a bad stomach or anything, all you need to do is have them check at least once a month at the vet to so make sure everything's okay, make sure they're dewormed, make sure they have their regular shots. Oh, and another tip for dogs actually, if your dog has stomach pain, you will know because they will start to eat uh, grass because uh, they want to vomit something out. So when you see that, what I do is I give two tablespoons of plain yogurt to the dog and that's like a, it's like when we drink um, yogurt or any probiotics. So that's it. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this vlog and got to know my little fur friends a little more. Guys, more details on the blog. So make sure to check that out uh, on Salanda.ph, not just here on YouTube. Ta-da! So again, guys, reminder, Salan Yusuf here. Um, if you like my videos, then I'm happy that you like it. If you don't, then you don't. I'm not gonna force you. But I do hope you like it. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Just everything fun and under the sun. Nothing too serious, but lots of reality.